Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, the e-commerce director at Lama MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. And this is an informational video on the new Sync 3 system. So we're going to show you how that My Ford touchscreen, and this happens to be the Lincoln screen, how they look, uh, how it functions, and how easy it is to use. I think you're going to really enjoy this. Okay, what's really great about this new Sync system, the My Ford Touch and My Lincoln Touch, is the, the, the Sync 3 system, which is now available on the MKC, which is, that's what this vehicle is, or an Escape in the 2016 model year. So it's going to start rolling out in more of the 2016 models. Uh, we want to get this out to you. This is a really nice system. It's more just like your phone would be. Uh, you know, on your cell phones, uh, typically we can scroll with our, with our hands. Um, and use the touch screens with with everything it really brings that kind of that intuitive uh, system onto this uh, onto the my ford and my lincoln touch screen so it's real nice uh, this is the home screen so you'll see it shows you your um, navigation screen it's going to show you your device at this time we don't have a device um, uh, attached yet or connected we're going to show you how to do that and it also has your audio so real nice system uh, all your touch screens here at the bottom just like you'd see on your phone uh, really nice navigation uh, between everything so I'm uh, gonna get, run through and how to use everything again you just touch it so like on the audio you can just press that button there um, of course we have the volume turned down so it has your audio we have it on the the uh, Sirius satellite right now but you can just easily just touch the sources you can switch back and forth from your FM just by pressing it and then you have your pre settings of course you have you know 18 different presets uh, that you can choose from uh, through those so you can go back and forth go back to your Sirius satellite CD uh, whatever it might be um, real nice you can even Bluetooth your device of course I don't have my phone set up yet but if you have um, that you can set that up through there so it's real nice and easy with the audio uh, and of course you can just go right back um, to that screen and at the bottom this stays down here you don't have to go back to the home screen to go to your other other screens so if you want to go to climate you just press that down there makes it real nice and easy this one's got dual zone climate control so it's real nice and easy just use your up and down uh, you have your auto setting um, of course and you can position this when you don't have the auto if you want uh, you know the air coming you know through the vents up front or down the bottom you can press those and you can increase your fan speed or decrease it there when it's not in the auto setting your dual zone climate everything's just by pressing it so real nice and easy to use and of course all this is is available with the voice commands I'm showing you how to use the screen itself but you just press your uh, voice commands and it does that uh, if I just were to press it here please say a command temperature I didn't get that. You can say AM, FM, USB, navigation, Sirius, or travel link. If the phone is connected, you can say call, followed by the name of the contact, like call John Smith, or dial, followed by the phone number, like dial 55. So you'll notice it goes through, uh, when I don't do it right, it goes through and tells you your options and what you can say. I think I actually have to say climate, so let's try that again. Please say a command. Climate, 73 degrees. Did you say 73 degrees? Yes. Setting temperature to 73 degrees. So it changes my temperature. So you, you can use it with any of those things. Uh, a lot of them, it's looking for those keywords of those, uh, whether it be audio or a phone, navigation. Um, audio, usually you can just say serious, uh, you know, whatever it might be. If I want to say... Um, Please say a command. Serious 184. Tuning to channel 184. So that I think that's weather or something, but it just flips it right over for you on that. Um, you'll notice it goes to that. It's the I guess it's the XM preview channel. So you can do that through through everything. Of course, it works um, uh, mainly where it's a big benefit is your phone and even your navigation. If you're driving and you want to get that navigation spot, which let's go ahead and go to the navigation, then you can find that destination. I like this. It's a little easier. You go to destination. Um, what's really great about this is it has everything to, to all in one. Uh, it used to be your um, your points of interest. You had to go to a different screen to find them. Here it's real nice. Food, fuel, hotel, ATM. Uh, if you have, you can set up a home and a work address. So it, you just click it and go right to your home destination or work. Uh, so that's real nice. Previous destinations. If you need to search for a location, you can. I like this. It allows you to do points of interest as well as intersections and addresses all in one. So, um, you know, if I were to do, um, let's say, iron and then 
and Ohio. That's one of the two intersections here in town. Um, I hit search, it's going to search for anything matching that all over the United States because if you notice by scrolling here it gives me some in even Ohio when we're in Kansas so um, so it's easy I can just click the one I want uh, hit start and it's going to start Obey that traffic drive. Laws, so. be alert and use voice commands while driving so it sets it up real Please nice and easy to the highlighted route and then the route guidance will start so that will allow me to start now if I decide like right now I don't want to uh, do that destination I can just hit that real easy hit cancel route and it cancels that so real nice it gives you your uh, traffic list too so as you set up that destination you can go right in and see what if, if there's any traffic stops or um, wrecks or anything so real nice and easy to use um, with that touch screen so um, real real nice um, let's go ahead and do go to the phone now uh, of course first thing I want you to do is add a phone um, so I'll show you how easy that is um, so first thing you want to make sure on your phone and if you go into your settings and make sure on the Bluetooth uh, that you have it to where you're visible so I have to check the box on mine uh, you'll notice I've already had the sync on there but um, usually what I've found works better is if you hit add phone sync on your device and select sync once it is found you can actually press sync if it's if it's pulling up on your phone you can hit sync uh, earlier when I did it it did not do that so if I hit discover discover other ones and I hit continue select one of the devices found by sync so it found my phone so then I can just press the phone confirm that the pin displayed on so, sync matches the pin displayed on your device then on my phone my Samsung phone I just hit OK and then I hit yes there and we're connected for your so. safety please stay alert to changing road conditions and use sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion now one of the things it does is um, it'll usually ask you two things one to set up the 911 assist uh, which is real nice and it's a good thing to do the other is to auto download my contacts so if I hit uh, on and I hit finish it will go ahead and download all my contacts right into the sync system I don't want to do that except first so I don't want to take the time on the video um, so but I'll go ahead and finish and it's real nice because if you do download your contacts it's gonna, they're gonna be right here uh, but you can also use your uh, voice command um, to find those people in your phone book so if I hit call um, you know John Smith it's gonna call John Smith and remember it's wherever it's on your phone uh, like my wife um, it has her middle her middle name in there on my, my contacts because I pulled that from Facebook so that's the way it's in my phone so I need to make sure I say it that way so just keep that in mind as you do that because some people get frustrated with that if they have two of the same people in there um, then you know you're gonna see that um, what's real nice is the text messages uh, with the phone um, they're going to be right here of who who has uh, text you and such uh, you can view those texts um, right in there you can reply to them um, it'll actually if you hit the hear it it'll actually play that text back to you through the audio system and then if you ha hit reply you can use some of the common replies that you might have in your phone uh, so which is really nice you can just press OK or I'm on my phone so that way you can keep your hands on the steering wheel like it's uh, most safe and you're not texting through your phone so uh, keep that in mind too so real nice and easy to use uh, I, I love that on everything you just scroll um, you have the travel link uh, which is a screen that's a really valuable we'll go through that but you have your traffic list um, and that's if you're on on a route it'll tell you and show you these within your route uh, that you're doing for your destination so um, and again like I said everything's scrollable which is I really like which with your finger um, just like your phone would be so it's real nice and convenient uh, movie listings uh, it shows the different theaters in town uh, we got a drive-in that's showing it's pulling that up that's a uh, 33 miles away from here but I can pick a, a certain uh, movie theater I can go to showtimes uh, it shows me the different movies the showtimes uh, that's kind of nice I don't know if you saw the other thing but it has the call so once you press it it's using your your phone it's calling the the movie theater if you want to do that to get your tickets uh, and now if you know you want to go to a certain movie uh, let's say you want to see Ant-Man and, and we're you know 30 minutes away we need to get there whatever now uh, you can then hit your start and it's going to automatically hit your navigation and pull your navigation right to the movie theater so real nice and convenient especially when you're in that big city and uh, you decide you want to go see a movie uh, you can do that so um, sports is the same way you can uh, press that uh, it has my teams uh, you can edit your list for your different scores um, you know all again 
you just scroll through everything. You know, if you want to add some uh, NFL teams, you can do that. Um, if you go to my teams, you want to go to the edit list, you can add uh, whatever sport it might be. You know, if you got NFL, we may want to go through real nice and easy to just pick, you know, let's say Kansas City Chiefs, now it's in there. So now it's going to show me any scores. Of course, they're not playing right now. It's August still, um, but you have those scores in there. Um, ski condition, fuel prices are real nice uh, too. It's showing right now it's sorting by distance, so it's the closest um, gas stations to us. If I want to hit by price, I can, I can do that. Um, and then it's the cheapest at the top, and then it tells me their distance, and then I can press it, and it uses the navigation to get me right there. So real nice and easy to use, uh, just with touch. I, I love the weather aspect of it. Uh, of course, when you go to the map, it's gonna show you this too, but right now you can see there's a little storm over here in, in western Kansas uh, that looks like maybe heading our way, but it kind of shows you that. Um, so real nice, and again, you can move that map around just by using your finger. See, there's that storm in Colorado. So, which it looks like they, um, by looking at the forecast, I think I can go to, you know, when you go to weather, um, oh, maybe, I actually thought it showed you the, oh, there, I can go to current, it shows me my current weather, um, as well as I can go to the five day, and you'll see the five day, that storm that's in Colorado looks like it's going to be coming through tomorrow, so. Um, you can kind of see that. That's real nice, uh, real nice and easy to use, especially if you're driving on the highway somewhere and you see maybe a storm coming up. You can go to that to the map and you can see that storm and if it's going to pass over before you get there. So it's kind of nice. And then ski conditions too. We're in Kansas. You can tell there's not really a ski resort around, but you can find different resorts by distance. Um, you know, and it shows you. Of course, most of them are 400 miles away from us. So, but um, so that's there too as well. So. Real nice and easy. Uh, love the, the different apps. Um, of course, you can go to your settings to um, set up any of your voice commands, uh, your vehicle settings. Uh, I really like this. Your door code can be now programmed from right here instead of having the, the old system. You had to have the, the your code, had to press a couple buttons and put your new code in, press some buttons to confirm it. This and you just put in your new code, and hit enter, and it's there. And you can change it real nice and easy. So. That, that I like. Uh, you can set up your camera settings. Right now it has enhanced uh, driving aid. That's the little markers that tell how far you are. The green, yellow, red uh, from the object behind you. Uh, you can shut that off. Um, the um, rear view camera display, uh, you can turn that on. What that, or the delay I mean. What it does is as you put it in drive, it just has a delay until you get up to I think over five or 10 miles an hour. Um, so you can turn that on or off. Uh, so real nice, uh, easy to use uh, settings. Um, also Wi-Fi, um, it allows you, like we're close enough to our Wi-Fi right now, I think it says that we're actually uh, connected to a, yep, it says that we're connected to Loma MacArthur Guest Wi-Fi right now, so I can actually give Wi-Fi to my car um, from that. Of course on your phone you would be able to as well. Um, but what's great about that is when you're home, um, you can allow this to do when you set it up to have updates done to the my Ford sync system and my Lincoln sync system from your home network so you connect when you get home and it's check it, it'll check for updates so then it'll update it so you don't have to go to the Ford dealer to get those updates so that is a nice benefit as well saves you some time uh, saves some time um, coming back to the dealership when this uh, system when they do have an update uh, whenever they add new things to the map and that kind of thing you don't have to go back to the dealer you can do that from your Wi-Fi at home so Real nice and easy, a great system. Uh, I think Ford's done a really good job of making everything hands, uh, just like like you can see on your cell phone. So just uh, making that nice and easy to use. So hopefully that helps you out and uh, teaches you a little bit about the My Ford uh, uh, Touch system, the the Sync 3 system, and uh, how nice it is. And it's going to be uh, on your 2016 vehicles uh, coming to you soon.